Hi, my name's Tim Nunes. I'm uh, Director for Leveling Up at the Office for Investment. And here in Mipping this week, and just visiting the uh, Central South Sand, which is fantastic to see the enthusiasm uh, of all the partners as well. And really great to see these public-private partnerships as well, where the private sector is leaning in with its expertise, its vision, alongside the public sector's vision as well for their places, which is really, really important in terms of facilitating and unlocking the investment that parts of the South really, really need. You know, Southampton, Portsmouth, really great cities within the UK that we need to see developing at pace now. Uh, we've had some really interesting conversations about the Freeport, which is a big priority of government. Um, it's great that through some of the extensions and free court uh, process to 10 years uh, gives hopefully a real boost to, to that free port in Southampton. So we've just been discussing some of the ways in which we can really help accelerate some of the projects to land and some of the infrastructure that's required to do that. But what's happening in the sale, particularly around autonomous craft, robotics and so on, is is huge. And it's a, there's a real innovation hub and that you know, good ideas feed good in, and good ideas. That's the networking. The ecosystem exists and the connection to academia and to education to make sure that we really are challenging the status quo in terms of people pipeline, to make sure that people are coming through with the right skills to feed those incredible jobs to feed economic growth is all within the same spinning wheel of success. We bring the businesses in which create the skills and which uplifts the value of the employment sectors within the area. So this is absolutely one of the government's kind of flagship programmes to try and really boost employment. But it's very exciting for us in this sector and of course the spin-off will be absolutely huge. We've just been discussing how the maritime heritage of Portsmouth is going to feed into a huge amount of economic growth for the city. Uh, Portsmouth just clearly have got a huge maritime background for the city, not just HMS Victory, the Mary Rose, but even now looking forwards to the future in terms of satellites and innovative technology as well. So that's all being built in the city, but there is still huge opportunities. We've got a huge amount of graduates coming out of the city, 22,000 graduates in the city. A lot of those graduate each year, but a lot of them disappear out of the port of us. So we're looking to try to make sure that we provide the right employment opportunities for the skills that they are coming out with, which are the right skills in the right industries, IT, technology, advanced aeronautical engineering, all of those sorts of things, so that they can actually stay in Portsmouth, the city they're bred to love, yeah. but they need the housing as well. So we're then trying to mind, make sure that the housing is provided. So it's a big ask for the city council. Um, we're working with them as Savills to deliver a scheme at Tipper West, which will provide marine employment hub, housing, and protect the local nature and make sure that we are providing something for the future generations of the city.